just as one example of, of what the research literature has found, they looked at different women who either had no contact with farm animals, had contact with, I think it was um, one to two or two to four or four to six. And for every additional grouping of animals that mothers had contact with, they found a corresponding decrease in the level of inflammatory and immune mediated condition in the offspring, which showed to the researchers that even while mom is pregnant, her exposure to dirt in the environment, and this is within reason, we have to apply a little bit of logic to the statement, but what we might term old dirt, um, you know, animals, forest environments, uh, naturally occurring germs and bacteria and such, that seems to tune or attune the immune system of the mother and the child. Uh, so that gives us a, a bit of a hint in terms of what can mothers do to help improve their gut health and the gut health of the forming child. One thing would be contact with a natural environment. Uh, so not being kind of a germaphobe, again, within reason, if you're hiking uh, and you're getting in touch with, with dirt or if you're in contact with animals, that's the type of exposure that's probably going to be more beneficial in tuning to the immune system. So that's one thing that we can do is just have whatever reasonable degree of contact we can with a natural environment. There's also a dietary, um, you know, fast, a whole foods diet, uh, making sure that you're getting in sources of iodine would be important, not so much for the microbiota per se, but for neurological development and also omega-3, uh, you know, getting your, your fatty fish in is another important factor. Again, not so much relevant to gut health, but important just to mention Another intervention that would be squarely toward gut health, probiotics. And I think it's something important for mothers to be aware of because what sometimes happens, uh, at least according to my observation in the conventional realm, when a conventional doctor, let's see, a, let's say an OBGY, is not familiar with the body of literature, they'll just revert to, well, don't do anything with mothers, where they may be told, be careful with probiotics. But there's actually some very interesting evidence showing that children birth from mothers who are taking probiotics while pregnant and or while breastfeeding have less eczema as one example. Uh, so they're, they're safe and effective for mother and for child. And they've even been shown probiotics that is to be safe and effective for kids in the neonatal intensive care unit. So even children who are really, you, you could say sensitive and perhaps not thriving, this is where probiotics can be helpful. So, uh, you know, a few dietary notes, contact with your natural environment and probiotics are a few places to start. And there, there's, you know, a lot in this conversation, but those are maybe, um, uh, you know, a few of the main pillars that mothers can concern themselves with in trying to produce the healthiest kind of gut environment that they can for the health of their child.